so i've had this game for like four to five months i've never had time to play this game the developers gave it to me a long time ago but it is good to finally be able to play it uh hopefully i will enjoy it it's a shooter it's like an arena shooter roguelike game it, get, it went into 1.0 the music's kind of bopping hey elliot anderson welcome in i guess i'll just start the adventure and see how it goes 2750 max do you read me yes copy you village you're nearly out of range i'm on my way now okay whoa a whole freaking robot calm down calm down quite good shape for an antique last update 503 years Hey, Enrique. Enrique. Uh, yeah, this is RoboQuest. I don't know if there's any balls involved in this game, but I've had this game for a while. I've been needing to play it. It's an action shooter roguelite. It's also very quiet to me. Sensitivity is a little high. The one thing I hate about shooter games is I have to find the perfect sensitivity. And that's always impossible for me to do. Yeah, Catloaf, isn't it convenient? Also, hey, la la la. Arlen, thank you for the $10 super chat on YouTube. I think that's YouTube. I appreciate it. Thank you for the $10. What's up, youth duo with you? No, I'm playing solo because I'm not playing with people that know how to play the game. It finally came into 1.0. Intruder access denied. Thank you, Arlen. Looks like someone doesn't want us in. Uh, V to punch, space to jump. Okay. It's a super sticker. Thank you for the super sticker. Take this. My special lowered crosshair increased. There it is. Arla, thank you for the $10. Yeah, la la la. The graphics remind me of Borderlands. I was very intrigued by this game when I first got it. I just never had time to play it. The devs gave it to me and I was like, oh, thank you for the game. I'll, I'll play it when I can. And then I never had time to play it. And then I was looking at games that just released and I was like, oh, RoboQuest actually came out. I was like, oh, fuck it. I'm playing it today, even though Risk of Rain comes out tomorrow. Thank you, Enrique, aka Shiny. Uh, increases the verticality. You can perceive the classic center crosshair. It works fine, but well, you know, it's not mine. I'm going classic. I like classic crosshair. How does the game sound also? Is it very quiet? Hold. Shift to sprint. Crouch to power slide. Space to jump. Space to double jump. Ooh. Halo Demon to the YouTube chat. Thanks for coming on to the YouTube. I imagine they probably fixed that, youth. I hope they fixed that. Bastion makes you invulnerable and consumes battery. You can turn it on and off to save battery. The battery regenerates over time. That's battery. I would hope they fix that. Okay, you have unlimited ammo. Uh, taking damage health, dropping you, Aaron runs over, taking down an enemy, drops healing cells, which makes them disappear. Gathering them repairs a part of your scratch damage or restores a small amount. 
using your repair bot repairs all the scratch damage okay using my repair bot I haven't played a shooter game in a while. So, level up. Taking down enemy grants you XP when you experience powers full. You level up, increasing your power and health. I didn't need a tutorial. Perk selector is T. Transforms Bash into a bonk hammer, increases its damage by 50%. While Bastion is active, increases weapon damage by 30%. Weapons damage by 30%, fire rate by 30, and movement speed by 18 i did arlen thank you for uh buying her that on throne that means a lot what's up eoc dubby yeah it just came out into uh 1.0 it was in early access for like a week like a year i think finally into 1.0 i've been meaning to play it for a bit but never had time and i was like you know what i'm just gonna make time today open the door choose a weapon uh i'll take smg find the max so do i gotta go this way are you max you found some firepower let's move on then when does this tutorial end i want a game Well, I gotta be careful. That uh, that shield goes away very fast. Those just grenades they're dropping. Okay. Good heals. Control panel. The control panel displays information about the map, your class, weapons, perks, and more. It even shows a map. Okay. I never hit tab when I play games because my fingers are too small. I ain't trained to hit all these keys, you know? Is that like a dash in this game? The old station looks like a perfect spot to set up. Could you just fix up that generator for you? I think it's safe now. Could you try it again? It tricks me. A few days later. Robo quest. Oh, that's it. Feel free to take a tour and make yourself at home. Museum, multiplayer, workshop, locker room, difficulty, start. Based on your performance in the desert, I have made a suggestion. Standard. I'll start on standard. I'm not that good at shooter games. I'm not that good at shooter games. You know, we'll start on standard mode. Maybe I'll switch it up. Start game. There's nothing I can do here. Probably not. Probably no upgrades. Open workshop. All right, what are these? What are these? Fortitude, increased maximum health, cost six wrenches. You start the run of a choice between four weapons. Max sometimes deploys Bizarre Bob, a friendly bot that can craft items using power cells. Max sometimes deploys Smith and Joe, a friendly bot that can forge weapons using power cells. Oh, those power cells, they look like wrenches. Pew pew, pew pew indeed. I will just start a run and see how we do. Maybe I'll be great, maybe I'll be horrible. I don't think I have any mods here to make a prediction, so... You guys just have to watch me and pray I do good. I know Cat's not here because Cat went to bed at like 4.30. This is my first time exploring there and with those nasty bots around, I'm glad you're with me. The uncommon grandma's shotgun. We'll go for the green. We like grandma and we like shotguns. Ooh, quite smooth. Let's go, grandma.
Also, one thing that they didn't have in this game that they just added with 1.0, they added achievements. And you guys know I like achievements. Well, if you didn't know I like achievements, now you know. I know also Diggity Dan has played this game a little bit. It is slightly delayed for you. YouTube? Yeah, YouTube's a little bit slower compared to Twitch, so. So you thought Exo Prime was cute, but it got very repetitive? That sounds about right. Sounds about right. A mine launcher, the dual sawed off. I'll drop my starting pistol for it. Or restore my health up. It made you way too OP. Show data logs. Oh, what the hell? I have data log. Don't have the key. So we need keys to unlock those doors. Also, Lodina, thanks for the nine months on the YouTube world. Oh, I think I have two shotguns now. What up, Alex? Yeah, I just got into 1.0 today. So I thought no better time than the present to try it out. So here we are. I'm going to take this instead, the Tesla. I don't want two shotguns. Thank you, Lodemer, for nine months of being a tier one sub on YouTube as well. That really does mean a lot. Oh, I was not paying attention. Taking damage increases all damage by 30% and armor by 16%. Increases elemental damage by 10%. Deploying Bastion rolls a random element while Bastion is active. Gives 19 damage to that element to all enemies within 6 meters every 0.4 seconds. What's up, Momo? Borderlands roguelike. The graphics remind me of Borderlands a lot. It's a uh, RoboQuest. I've actually had my eye on this one for a while. But I've never really had the time to really dedicate to it. And I still don't really have the time to dedicate to it. Because Risk of Rain Returns comes out tomorrow. But it got into 1.0 today. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to play it. I was like, I'm going to play it. Screw it. Let's play it. Did we finish Spooder Man? No, we're not even done with Act 2 yet. I have done almost everything. I'm like 73% done with Spider Man. I've done a lot of side quests but i haven't done the dlc yet in spider-man and for people wondering it's spider-man one just in case you haven't been watching this twitch stream we're playing spider-man one slowly but surely what's up guramar sethi hello welcome into the youtube stream hope you're doing good that overheats it's good to know All right. Yeah, Monk, I'm doing all the side quests in Spider-Man. Right now, I'm doing the Taskmaster ones, because those are the only ones I have left, besides some random side missions that are available to me. I think I only the only Taskmaster ones I have left to get gold in is uh, the stealth ones, which I think is annoying, because I hate stealth. Oh, I think I got a golden wrench. Is this a roguelite? It's advertised as one. Completed canyons, XP, time. Oh, wow, you get rank bonuses and everything. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Cloud. This is a multiplayer game. Like the graphics at art? I do as well. A sheep? What cute art style. I know. It's very cute. It's the hot new shooter game that just came out. Just came out uh, today in the 1.0 after like a year of early access. Junk Beam. SMG. I like SMGs. Ooh, I like that. I have a shield. So there's rankings you got to worry about after every level. So I have to be good.
But I think killing all the enemies will give you a higher ranking. But I wasn't even able to go in all the rooms in that last area. I didn't have the damn key. Deal 10,000 damage. My first achievement! Constantly be changing weapons. We gotta try all the weapons, you know? Oh, that stun mechanic seems a little weird. Fire rate up by 15%. Sure, that's an increase in damage. It's an increase in damage if I hit shots, I should say. If I don't hit any shots, then it's not really increasing any damage. Have I played synthetic? No. But a few people have suggested that to me in YouTube comments, and it's on my wish list. It looks very good. I'll say the first one looks better than the second one for synthetic. Hey, Sammy boy. How are you doing? The release feels good so far. I've had this game for on my watch list for a while. And I just realized it came out today. So I was like, it's no better time to play it, you know? Feels pretty good. This is my first official run. Oh god, I'm getting my ass handed to me in this room. Ay ay ay. It's on sale? Well, I don't have that much money. I'll be honest, I didn't have to buy this game. <laughs> I had a code. I got a code for this game a while ago. Oh, I got the ruins key. That's good. I don't have a lot of money right now. My payday is not for another week. Uh, flare gun? I'll take flare gun. That sounds good. What's this? I don't know what that is. My second? It is. My second? Oh, I only got one. Huh. Maybe I didn't beat the tutorial. Arlen, you gave me $10 on YouTube. You did give me money. Big gay. Arlen, thank you for the 100 bits. There's also a new season of Marvel Snap Out today. My, uh, my side, my side addiction. Which isn't really a side addiction because I'm just straight up addicted to it. Throwing money at her. Yep, I know. Lala, thank you for the 100 bits as well. Uh, have I tried Dave the Diver? I have tried Dave the Diver. I made a review on it on this YouTube channel. And if you want to watch me play it, my full playthrough is on my Let's Play channel. I think if you type exclamation mark plays in the chat, that can link you to my Let's Play channel if you want to watch it. But I think Dave the Diver is a fantastic game that everyone should experience. Is this like a challenge room I need to survive in or something? Because there's just an endless amount of people in here. Thank you, Lala. Thank you, Arlen, for the bits.
I don't think that was a challenge. I think that was kind of like a challenge room, but minus the reward for beating the challenge room. Five Five said he'll play more snap today. Doesn't matter to me. My sponsorship is over. <laughs> but I hope he enjoys it. It would be very fun to watch him play snap. If he plays snap on stream, I am there to watch it because I love Marvel Snap. I think he would actually enjoy it. He really likes cards, and I think it's a very simple card game. Even if you don't like Marvel that much, it's a very simple game to play. Very easy to understand, and the ranking system is quite fun to play a part of. Uh, try exclamation mark plays with an S. Not just play. Or VODs. I have so many goddamn commands. I don't even know if... I don't even know if Nightbot is on YouTube. They should be. What's up, Phoenix? This is not a Horde Survivor. This is a uh, action roguelite. First-person shooter action roguelite. Also, good morning, Townie. How you doing? But there is a lot of Horde Survivors on sale right now. Oh my lord, Biggie Mole. No, Nightbot doesn't work. I don't know what the commands are on YouTube. I'm sorry, YouTube. Nightbot should be there. Maybe it's VODs. Did I make it VODs? Why would I do that, though? I don't think I'm going to beat Diggy Mole. Well, maybe if I use my shotgun, I could actually beat him. I got 57 health. I got 16 health. Sixteen health and a dream. Oh boy. Try to keep my shield for when I actually need it. Like that. Oh boy. Oh boy. No teaching. Arlen, thank you for the 100 bits. Or Blissett, thank you for the 100 bits. I ran into one of his bombs when he had no health. Damn. That's unfortunate. We have this bitch on your team that keeps calling out even though volume is insane and our team is already so small. She's not even sick. She just gets annoyed and doesn't come to work. So she's horrible to be with. Odima, thank you for the 100 bits. I did not 100% Dave. I didn't get all the achievements in it. I did a lot that the game had to offer inside of a standard playthrough, but I didn't get all the achievements. Oh, there's different classes as well. Hmm. Thank you, Lodima, for the 100 bits. The last game I got all the achievements in on stream was... Uh, or like off stream was like Exo Primal. All right, let's see what we have for the workshop. We need to hire somebody. Oh, that's me accidentally alt tabbing. I need to figure out how to get Nightbot working on uh, YouTube. You uh, took a screenshot. You damn, Arlen! Unholy axe with my Mario Party game. Oh my god! Oh my god, chat! This is so sad. We need ten gifted. Start a run with four power cells. Sometimes deploy Chef Paul, a friendly bot that can upgrade your weapons using power cells. Let's get Chef Paul in. This game has co-op. I do know it has co-op. I need to figure out the game a little bit before I play with others. But I do... This game seems very promising. 
And I'm happy that it's having a pretty successful 1.0, hopefully. What's up, Jefferino? Arlen, aka Blizzard, thanks for the 10 gifted subs on Twitch. The Fantastic Dynamite, Soul Hipster, Volt Flare, Salty French Fry, Piano, Meister, Jolty, Owl Drama, Discotech, Mago Clock, and Ruben Z Kit. Reminds you of Hi Fi Rush. Oh, Hi Fi Rush. That good one that it could remind you of. A lot of people were saying Borderlands, but Hi Fi Rush is another one I can see. All right. If you turn off your screen, I doubt that. Bull shotgun. I'll take the bull shotgun because it's uncommon. And I feel uncommon is probably better than common. So at the end of a run, I got wrench currencies that allowed me to upgrade... Nice and simple. It's over here. Hundred percent. No, I'll love it. I played one level in High Fire Rush. Power Fist. I'll take the power cell. I played. I did the first level in High Fire Rush, and then that's all I did. Does it get you anything if I have YouTube stream open? It gives me a viewer. And if you watch an ad, you get I get some ad revenue on it. Uh first 33% ammo increases weapon damage, sure. And yes, I play ads on YouTube. I'm sorry. Sorry, YouTube viewers, you have to watch ads. A wild Crouch increases weapon accuracy by 50% and damage by 15. We'll take an Arctic Rifle. But I'm also not going to take my pistol. Is this Roguelite Doom? Kinda! It's an arena shooter Roguelite. Um, it just got out of early access today. And they gave me this... The devs gave me this game like five months ago when I first like moved. And I never really had time to play it. So then I was kind of like keeping my eye on it here and there. And then it finally got into 1.0 and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to play it. I am streaming on YouTube. You can watch it on YouTube or you could watch on Twitch. I don't expect YouTube to really generate anything crazy, but you never know if you don't try. So guessing because you're subbed. Yeah, you should. If you're subbed, you I imagine you wouldn't get any ads on YouTube if you're subbed. But I do also have it set to play every 30 minutes on YouTube for ads. The Twitch just started allowing multicast with uh, partners and everything. You can stream anywhere at any time. They have some weird regulations behind it where it's like, you can't exclude your Twitch chat from a certain content. It's like, dude, whatever. And a lot of people are saying they're going to start doing a multi-streaming on YouTube and all that. I don't think they will. I'll believe it when I see it. But I'm going to try it every once in a while and see how it goes, you know? Uh, the YouTube chat is definitely a little bit slower than uh, Twitch. But, you know, I've never streamed on... I've streamed twice on YouTube before. This is the third time I've ever streamed. What's up, Paul? Good morning. Also, what's up, Sellyman? Feel like you like gunfire more? I need to get more into gunfire. I've played a little bit of gunfire reborn, but not a lot. Also, thanks for the hype train, by the way. I don't want common weapons. I'll heal. Help there. That's not La City we're scoring this to. So are we like escorting these people somewhere while well, top quality is active increases weapons auto critical arlen you got terminated on youtube for some reason hey townie welcome to the youtube let's play or welcome to the youtube stream
shit. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you were. One of the streams I watch when I'm not here is doing the dual stream thing. Learning curve, dealing with two chats. I will say it can get a little stressful trying to deal with two chats, but... I feel most people, I'm just going to say most people that stream on Twitch mostly, their chats aren't going to be super active on YouTube, I feel like. Unless they already have a pretty well-established YouTube audience. And most people that just stream on Twitch don't really have a super well-established YouTube audience because streamers are lazy and don't make YouTube videos. So, like, they have no discoverability. Plus, not many people are going around watching YouTube live streams because it's a lot harder to find YouTube live streams. Most people go on YouTube for, you know, videos, including me. I don't really watch too many YouTube live streams, but you never know if you don't try. That's what I say. We actually have more chats over here. It might be smart to have YouTube chat on screen as well. I need to figure out a way to implement YouTube chat on the screen. I want to have YouTube chat on screen, but I need to find a way to implement it a way I like. Because I feel like just having two chatbots that have both chats. Like, having one chatbot combine them both would be the easiest way, but... I need to find a program that allows that, but it also doesn't make the chat look, like, horrible. There's one thing that I lose my mind over on streams is when the chat is too big on the stream. You know what I mean? I think you're mixing it up. You can have both of them on there. I think the Twitch TOS is you just can't exclude your Twitch chat from things. Which is like, that's very easy to avoid because you, you stream video games. You know, it's like, had, <laughs> what's the point of excluding someone from it? game is also very hard to talk to chat while playing because I need to go as fast as I can to get a high grade, but I also want to talk to chat because it's the best part of streaming video games on the internet. Twitch was designed for live content. It's a shame the discoverability is ass on it. Can't go that way. Or can I go this way? Technically, I can go that way. It didn't stop me. Three wrenches. Retrieve one data log. I just took a bunch of damage, so... Level 3 Kangaroo Century. I'm curious to see what this does. Travel to the scrapyard. I got a B. I completed the ruins, I guess. You complete these areas pretty fast. Five minutes. Discover a corrupted level. I'm getting achievements left and right. A corrupted level. This should be fun. Most of the people I've seen dualcasting just has on YouTube. If you want to chat, go to Twitch. That's i uh, I'm going to say that's a pretty lazy way to do it. If you're the streamer, you want to make your, the, the audience's life as easy as possible because like if i watch someone on youtube and their screen just says go to twitch why would i go to twitch why would i want to go do something else i'm on youtube make me want to go to twitch sell me to you you know thanks for hanging out arlen thank you for supporting as well it does mean a lot oh i can build turrets with this guy i like that thank you arlen aka blissett like, I'm gonna, I will obviously talk to both chats. I will talk to both chats. It just might take a little bit for me to respond if both of them are active. You know? Like, I keep my eye on both of them, but I don't got super high expectations for YouTube to, like, you know, pop the hell off. 
Do I make scones or do I make scones? I think you should make some scones. Hey, not good gamer. You're a fan of RoboQuest? Just got out of early access, which you are probably aware of because you're a fan of it. I'll get the healing cells. I've had this game on... I've had, I've had my eye on this game for a while, so... Thought no time like the present. Risk of Rain Returns comes out tomorrow. Astro Ascent comes in out on the 12th. We got blo the, that stone game below the stone or something coming out the 15th. Roguelites are coming out like crazy right now. Roguelites are coming out like crazy. You just keep alternating to keep me on my toes. Well, thanks for keeping me on my toes. Streaming on YouTube gives streaming like a different feeling, you know what I mean? It makes it feel different. Compared to just streaming on Twitch. Like it's a whole new world of possibilities. I know one thing some people are scared of for streaming on YouTube is how it would how it would how it would negatively affect their channel but you know what i say you never know until you try so just try oh, i might die here probably use my shield more often to be honest the music's very good whether to contact your new job or not, contact them about what? These shotguns kind of remind me of Reaper and Overwatch. Oh, I have 100 health. This turret comes back quite frequently and I like it. Oh my god, I got shot in the head. Someone dropped a gun. What gun did you drop? A Raptor SMG. Let's try out the Raptor SMG. Goodbye, shotgun. Gotta be a multitasker in this world. Content word, you gotta take your chances. Don't die. We can beat this corrupted world. We can beat it. We can beat it. And we got a power cell. Where's that damn chef? Who upgrades my weapons with power cells? Upgrade my weapons, chef. Okay. Oh man, I think I really need to beat this level if I want to keep doing this run. Sixty-one health. I don't know when they want me to start. I got all the necessary paperwork, the uniforms, everything, but nobody is has received said anything in regards to when to start coming in. Like Paul said, never hurts to ask. One more hit and I'm out of here. Oh my god.
All right. Uh, increases auto critical chance by 1% for each point. Fire rate by 15. I'll take it. The Twitch board Argo and Samacast says you can't merge chats on screen. They say that. But I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Are they going to actually enforce that? How many of these do I have? I have 11 of these. My weapon is too high level. I'll upgrade my century then. The gang of elites. Is this a boss? I think this is a boss. Good thing is they focus on my turret most of the time. Oh my god. I can't see, I can't see. Oh, I'm dead. I got knocked out. I got knocked out. Total wrenches 11, runtime 12 minutes. Let's go back to the base camp. I got 11 wrenches. Uh, select class. I don't know what the select class means. Unlocked by taking down 750 enemies, finding the lost javelin, taking a boss down in chapter two, upgrading your base camp to level four. How do you upgrade your base camp to level four? Is that in the workshop, maybe? Oh, this is probably base camp level right here. Uh, I can get two things. I can get Bizarre Bob... And I can get... Smith and Joe and Bizarre Bob, I guess. Alright, the upgrade system seems to be intriguing. In the loading screen... Press space bar while well, like in a loading screen. Oh, right, well, let me start a run and see what happens. <laughs> and that got me an achievement. <laughs> Tesla rifle. SMG. I'll take the SMG. What was the achievement? You while in the loading screen, you jump the hover bus because you can jump with the hover bus if you press space bar. Nice, a nice little small addition, which is kind of cool. Scout Sniper? Let's try the Scout Sniper. Let's see how it does. Let's see how it does.
Not bad. Bastion cooldown by 10%. Gathering a healing stuff regenerates 2% battery. We'll do that. Even though I don't use my battery too often. Card collected for the mine pod. Uh, increases all damage by 10% against flying enemies. Upgrade scout sniper. I don't have enough to upgrade. Do I have this key? I don't have that key. We'll go this way then. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I do like this scout sniper. Seems to do a good amount of damage. Don't know how useful it'll be against like a boss, but... Fire rate definitely seems to be A-OK. -okay. I can just use it as a bolt action rifle. I don't think I've beaten the boss yet, so... Taking down an enemy has 4% chance to drop 6 additional healing cells, increases critical damage by 10%. I'll take the critical damage by 10%, Alex. Thank you very much. Uh, critical damage for 10%, Alex. And I got an S rank in the canyons. 160 XP, 3 minutes and 16 seconds. Alrighty then. What do you want? Let's give it our all. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take the... Splasher rifle. Dual Hellions. Level 3. I'll pick him up. He's selling them. Definitely have to go on a cooldown much more of these. Take down 500 enemies. Another achievement. The shotguns have probably been the best item for me so far. Also, speaking of Palins, is that game still going? You're the person I know that's played Paladins the most, Alex. Minus Fey Razzle Dazzle. Fey Razzle Dazzle. Thanks for lurking, pirate. What a name. Well, his name is Faye Razzle on Twitch, but I call him Faye Razzle Dazzle. Love the love Faye Razzle. He is also a variety streamer that 
kind of focuses more on horror games it feels like I was watching him play a little bit of Alan Wake 2 yesterday morning. There was an enemy behind me the whole time. Listen, the only Doom game I've played is the original one. But a game like this makes me want to pick up Doom. Was that the developer's goal? To make me want to play Doom? Ah. Horror? Yeah, Faye likes the horror games. Good guy. Highly recommend them. If you want to watch some horror games. I don't really want a flare gun. Is Chef Boy here? What are these? Increases cryo critical chance, increases weapon damage by 15% against enemies further than 14 meters away. That's good because I have a sniper, so I will use that. Lodima, everybody hates work. I hope it's a good day at work, though. You can get home soon and live the good life away from work. The best part of work is leaving. Actually, the best part of work is payday. And then leaving. I think I have a crit box I can hit. This gun has a similar animation to Ana in Overwatch. You work from home. I'd be horrible to work from home. I feel like I'd get distracted way too easily, which is ironic because I also work from home because I'm a full-time content creator. I have my moments of clarity, I guess. Increase elemental damage, gather and a heal and cell. I think I should do the heal and cell. I used the flare gun on my first run and it was okay. The best part from the best part from drop is when I go shit and they pay me for the time in the bathroom. What's that old saying? You make a penny, boss makes a dime, that's why you shit on company time or something like that. If you didn't work from home, why work from home? I wouldn't be able to watch you working from home while I'm working from home. Thanks for watching me while you're working from home while I'm working from home so we can both work from home while we work from home. I think we might be going to a boss next. Oh, I don't have enough power cells to upgrade. Damn, I don't have any power cells. Shoot. Yeah, boss makes a dollar, you make a dime. You were having a shitty day yesterday and you were like, let me turn on Burr, but it was over. I'm sorry. I wasn't there for you on your shitty day.
Oh yeah, by the way, tomorrow's gonna be one longer stream because we have to take Nami to uh We have to take Nami to the vet at 7 p.m. So we're just gonna have one longer stream tomorrow. Billy Boom card collected. Oh, Billy Boom's gone. I got an A on that one. The Oasis, I got an A. I almost wrote you a letter like Stan. <laughs> Don't want to happen again. I'll try to make, I'll try to keep that in mind. I'll try to be conscious of your schedule with my schedule. 7 p.m. to the vet. I know it's very weird. It'll be a morning stream. Longer morning stream. Want to know how I'm used to this schedule? At 10 p.m., I'm dead tired. I'm ready for bed at 10 p.m. every day. Cracking it open. That is a big door. Human vermin. You're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Vermin? Seriously? Bye-bye, nasty little virus. Okay, let's do this. Ugh, why won't it open? Password, hmm, one, two, three, four? Access granted. Welcome to Haven 8. You were getting me and the cat ready for bed yesterday and you checked the time and it was 6.43. 6.43? 10 p.m. I'm done. Complete chapter one. Oh, that was chapter one done. Do I start every run here or do I have to go through chapter one every single run? Every six seconds, your next weapon shot will quell Kraus as 100% is being critical. Fully restores your health. Oh, these are items. I, don't, I can't even afford those. What do you got here for me? Cyclone Rifle, level 5. Take a new rifle. Ooh, has a little right click as well. It gets dark here at like 4 p.m. It's like, it's black. It's getting like very dark here at 4 p.m. I assume it's gonna be uh, pitch black at 4 p.m. Uh, very soon. I'll give it a couple weeks. Which means the amount of daylight there is, I have some daylight after the first morning stream is done. Ten thirty to eleven PM on until one thirty AM is usually the only the time of the game. I should really go to sleep earlier. So you sacrifice a little bit of sleep for a little bit of game time. If I was living a more traditional life, I would do the same thing. When I was living a more traditional life as well, I would do the same thing. I would um I would work 11 to 9, 11 p.m., 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then I'd just go home and play video games until like 3 a.m. And then I'd have to wake up early again. <laughs> Gotta get as much game and time as you can. But back then, I was a freaking Overwatch player. So I would get home from a long day of hating myself at work to a long night of hating myself on Overwatch. It was very ironic. And now I don't play Overwatch. Good job, me. You did it. So I'm jelly of everyone getting autumn and winter. Yeah, but you live in the land down under. So like you get depressed when everyone else is in summer, but you are in winter still. 
Anywhere else I'd be a 10. Woot, woot. Uh, Fishy, thank you for the 28 months of the tier one sub, and thanks for being part of the people that are helping me get uh, that 70 30 split potentially on Twitch. Thanks for helping us out with that and still supporting the stream. It really means a lot. I hope you're doing fantastic, my friend. It's good to see you. Sorry to be MIA for six months. You don't gotta be sorry. Life uh, comes first, and sometimes life uh, doesn't have you be on Twitch, and that's fine. Glad you're doing good, though. I am doing as good as can be, you know? I don't know if that was worth it, to be honest. Dual stingies? I'll try the dual stingies, but Jesus, that took away a lot of health. A little challenge room. What's this? It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground. You underestimate my power, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Don't try it. Screaming in lowercase. Ah! That guy felt like a damn mini boss. Ow. I need some healing. Some he healing. What the hell is this weapon? Tomahawk. This could be kind of cool. Let's see how good this thing is. Show Blunderbuzz. I need to show him something. Oh, I can open this door. I discovered the tech room. We got more chests as well. Uh, what is this? Quarry key. 25 cells for that. Okay, I definitely can't afford that. A little rich for my blood. This item also seems to freeze his enemies, which is kind of cool. Probably said that if I read the description, but... What am I, a nerd? I don't know how to read. You know, reading is very, very good. Ah, oh, dude, I haven't read in so long. I've been so busy. I'm tired at 10 p.m. How does one adult and be alive and find all the time to do everything? Or is that the secret? You don't. Yeah. Damn, dude, you did a lot of damage, little guy. We just went over this? Yeah, you don't... You don't do it. I don't think I'll be able to get it. I can't get it. I wanted that extra health that those things drop. Ow, I'm getting destroyed. Oh god, I might be dead. 
Oh my god. The field bot card. I don't know what that does. I think the cards just are, are learning what enemies do. Okay. Whew. All right. Oh my god. We're at the point where there's a lot of enemies and there's not a lot of me. Oh, this is a challenge room. That's why there's so many goddamn enemies. New upgrade. My hand is starting to hurt with all the shooting. Increases bash damage by 15%. I haven't punched anybody. Volcanic cannon. I gotta see what this thing does. Oh, I might be dead here, man. Not dead yet. Ranks reset in two hours? What, for Marble Snap? I'm not gonna be live in two hours. Time, nine minutes. XP was great, but my time was horrible. I'm slowly going down. SAB, my rank bonus is plus two. Time to grind infinity again. Yeah. This ain't a subathon. You can't give me money to make me stream more. You could, it might work, but it might also not work. I like shotguns. I upgraded the tomahawk twice. This thing should be really good then. Bumping in this game. Good morning, Avatar. Yeah, shotguns feel really good. 
The music be bumping. What do we got over here? Oh boy. What's this? The Dragoon Mortar. Dude, all the guns seem kind of fun to use. I just upgraded that thing twice and I'm getting rid of it. Oh boy. Wow, I took a bunch of damage. Give me the cells, I guess. Class unlocked commando. So I got a new class I can play and I got an achievement for it. The weapons seem quite good in this game. All of them. Uh, reduces bastion cooldown. Sure. I'm getting better at using it. Shout out to everyone watching on YouTube and Twitch. And to the people on Twitch that are watching on both. gonna die don't die don't die don't die don't die i died i died total wrenches 12 12 wrenches for that dude i got 12 wrenches last time i didn't get that far why did i only get 12 wrenches do i have to does it cost them Class. Each class has its own specific abilities and talents. You can consult and select classes in the class area. Where is that? That's not it. Where's the classes? Locker room? Fires an explosive rocket deal and 90 damage. Oh, instead of the shield, he has a rocket. Fires a shotgun blast deal and... Oh, we'll try commando out. Sure. I have a little shotgun blast now. Wait, where's the workshop? Let's upgrade. Start a run of a choice between four weapons. Okay, so now I can get all of these. These are expensive. You start a run with four power cells at level one. Let's we'll start a run with four power cells. That can get us some upgrades. So is our base camp level two now? All right. YouTube, let's play. Like and subscribe while we do more. Oh, ay, ay, ay.